Okay, um, so example two, again, this is called the composition of functions. So I've given you f of x is 2x plus 3, g of x is 2x minus 3, and I want to figure out are these two functions inverses of one another. So we're going to take the composition of functions in order to determine yes, they're inverses of each other, or no, they are not, okay? So we will start with f of g of x. So remember, this is just a fancy way of saying I'm going to take my g of x function, so 2x minus 3, and I'm going to put it in my f of x function. So I'm going to put 2x minus 3 into the x of my f of x function, okay? So we'll go ahead and start with f of g of x. So f of x is 2 times x. So instead of x, I'm going to in, um, input my 2x minus 3, my g of x. So 2 times my g of x function, so 2 times 2x minus 3 plus 3, okay? So remember, um, we need to end up, so when we simplify this, we need to end up with just an x term, um, and that will tell us if they are inverses or not. Okay, so my first step here, I need to distribute 2 times 2x, 4x, 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6, and then plus 3, um, this negative 6 or minus 6 plus 3 is going to end up as 4x minus 3, okay? This is not just an x. Let's go ahead and do the next composition to see what we get. So this time I'm going to do g of f of x. So I'm going to input my f of x function into my g of x function. So my g of x function is 2. Instead of an x, I'll put in my f of x function. So 2x plus 3 and then minus 3. So I've got my g of x function, but instead of x, I've put my f of x function. I'll distribute 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 3 is 6, and I'll bring down my minus 3. Okay, 4x. Positive 6 minus 3 is plus 3. Okay. So notice for our first composition, we did f of g of x. We ended up with 4x minus 3. For our uh, second composition, g of f of x, we ended up with 4x plus 3. Neither one of these gave me just an x. Okay, If you get something that is not just an x, it, they are not inverses of one each other. So no, f of x and g of x are not inverses. Okay, so we didn't end up with x. It's pretty safe to assume f of x and g of x are not inverses of one another. Okay, so you have to end up with just an x um, to conclude that they are inverses. We end up with something that is not x. So no, f of x and g of x are not inverses in this example. 